sites in your anatomy. I wanted to demonstrate the beauty of the brain and what it can do and how it can repair and regenerate itself even and you're making pictures and, and images and drawing shapes. So what you're seeing is the cells that I used to grow, the structures that I used to look at, the concepts and the functions around each of the cells and I'm reflecting those in pieces of wearable art. The inspirations are coming from three different cell types. What I call my activating line are actually from neurons. Okay, so you look at a tree, there are neurons that look like trees. So I take the concepts of, of the tree-like structures and then I translate those into pieces of art that are around the neurons. The energizing line, they're called myelin cells, they're, they're the energizing cells. These cells, they have like, like a big sheet, they roll it around and around and around the neural and they basically surround it with this nice protecting insulating sheath to make sure that it connects and that the information goes one way. You know when you cut an onion and you see the lines, the rings, that's what you see there. The other one is my favourite, <laughs> and that's the mother cell. I call it the mother cell because it does everything. It looks after, it cleans up, it gives the nutrient, it's a support mechanism. So I was actually growing mother cells, these the astrocytes, in a culture dish. And what's wonderful is that they all have lots of different shapes. So they're not all kind of cookie cutter, they've got this shape and this shape, and they're all over the place. belief is that the brain is supreme, that the brain has to be respected and in my highest integrity I wanted to have it reflected as high quality materials. The energy of it, the resonance of it just feels so much more in alignment with who I am. I truly believe you take your power and you decide what you want to do with it.